What are the signs and symptoms of PAD? Peripheral arterial disease, PAD. How do you know if you might have it? What kind of signs and symptoms do you look for? The answer is simple. Wounds and or leg pain, those two things. Allow me to elaborate. Wounds. Think about when you were a kid and you used to ride your bike in the neighborhood with your friends. Once in a while you'd try something that you probably shouldn't have, maybe a ramp or going over a curb and you'd fall and you'd skin your knee. So it happened to all of us. And maybe you'd cry or not, go to your mom, she'd, you know, soothe you like moms do, and she'd put a Band-Aid on it. Then a couple days later, you'd notice that the wound, you don't need the Band-Aid anymore. It kind of dried up. And a week later, it's almost gone, and a month later, you forgot about it. If you look down at your knee, you can't even tell where it was. How did this happen? It's the miraculous healing po power of the human body. The human body's a miraculous thing. It can heal itself. Your body senses that there's a break in the skin there. There's a damage there. And your body sends a repair crew through the arteries. It sends red blood cells. It sends, with oxygen, it sends white blood cells, which are the repair crew. It sends different nutrients. And that repair crew starts working and healing that wound. It's amazing. And in a month, your skin knee is back to normal. You're back on your bike riding around the neighborhood, right? That should happen with all wounds in your body, not just your knee, anywhere. If you cut yourself, it should heal. In a couple days, in a week, it should go away. It should be a progressive healing. If you have a wound on your legs, feet, or your ankles, and it's not healing, or it's healing very slowly, something's wrong. That's not normal. There's three major causes for slow or non-healing wounds in the legs, ankle, feet. First one is PAD. Think about it. If your arteries are clogged, which is what PAD is, or narrowed, not enough arterial blood is coming to that wound. So oxygen can't get there, nutrients can't get there, the white blood cell repair crews can't get there. So it's not going to heal. So if you have a wound that's not healing or slow to heal, it might be PAD. Give us a call, come see us, let us evaluate you. We're not gonna do any procedure, it doesn't hurt, non-invasive, we're gonna talk to you, we're gonna do an ultrasound, we're gonna do an ABI and a few other things. We're gonna see if you have PAD. And if you do, we can do the procedure that will open up those arteries. Not the same day on a subsequent day. So the number one symptom of PAD is non-healing or wounds or wounds that are slow to heal on your legs, ankle, or feet. The number two symptom is leg pain. So when you have leg pain, do you think well, I have PAD. Most people don't. Most people think it's like arthritis. And in most cases it is, to be fair. But if you have leg pain and you don't have arthritis, or you have leg pain when you're like sitting around doing nothing, that's not normal. That may mean that your arteries are not, your legs aren't getting enough arterial blood flow. The tissue, the tissues, your skin, your muscles, not getting enough blood and it hurts. It's just like coronary artery disease patients. Sometimes their chest hurts. <sighs> Angina it's because they're not getting enough arterial blood flow. Same thing can happen in the legs. So if you have a deep leg pain, when you're sitting around doing nothing, it shouldn't hurt. Think about PAD. It could be ischemic leg pain, or leg pain because you're not getting enough arterial blood flow, okay? The other type of pain to look for in the legs is, okay, you don't have pain when you're resting, but when you walk or maybe go up some stairs, then it hurts. That's not normal. And then you sit down and it goes away. That's called intermittent claudication. It's pain in the legs that you don't have when you're resting, but when you walk and move around, it hurts, and then you rest again and it goes away. Think about the close cousin of peripheral arterial disease, coronary artery disease. Maybe a gentleman in his 50s, maybe overweight, diabetic. He doesn't really have chest pain, but then he goes and shovels the snow from his driveway, and then he gets chest pain. Then he goes and rests and it goes away. It's the same principle. This same gentleman may not have pain in his legs, but when he goes and shovels the snow from the driveway, or tries to mow the lawn, his legs will start hurting, and then he'll have to rest. These are telltale signs of PAD. So the two big signs and symptoms to look for, wounds, ankles, leg, and feet that are slow to heal or don't heal, and two, leg pain, without any other obvious cause. Obviously, if you just sprained your ankle and your leg hurts, well, that's the cause. If you've had leg pain, or you have leg pain at rest, or on activity that is alleviated by rest, think PAD, give us a call, have your referring physician send us, let us, evaluate your leg arteries. Those are the two big ones, wounds and or leg pain. There's some secondary signs, I'll just list them quickly, because in and of themselves, they may not necessarily indicate PAD, but there's secondary signs. Hair loss, inexplicable hair loss on the legs, 
shiny skin. We've seen this many times. Discoloration of the skin, purplish, reddish, breakdown, dry skin. These are all secondary signs. But really look for the two big ones, wounds and or leg pain. If you have either one of these or both of these, call us, have your referring physician refer you to us, and let us evaluate you.